Hey, what's up guys? It's sick and I want to do another video today and talk a little bit about some uh, just quality of life stuff So I had somebody ask me today um, You know uh, They're new to macro quest and very vanilla and they're having some trouble figuring out like what's the good shit Like what to use and what to set up. There's so many options and we have so many different ways of doing things They just wanted some uh, suggestions on things that they should set up and things that they should look into um, so I'm gonna go over uh, Briefly three plugins that are just <laughs> Something I take for granted, right? So I want to talk about mq2 auto group um, Which is gonna uh, you set up a group and then you're able to invite the character and uh, Have it set up to automatically give roles to that character. Let's say, you know, you're gonna set up your your tank uh, um, Your assist and your auto looter. Well, your, your dudes all log in boom they invite themselves uh, then we have MQ2 auto accept, which is going to accept that invitation and uh, uh, Everybody's gonna accept that invitation be all grouped up and you're ready to go You don't have to worry about making sure you have your group, you know, your group leader set Because uh, the person inviting is a group leader You don't have to worry about main tank because you've already signed that in your auto group your assist and, uh, and your auto looter like that's already taken care of you can just get on to doing your stuff uh, which for me, the way I approach boxing, I want my I want my uh, my my boxes to act like there are other people who are just being really quiet, right? So I just want them to do their job, and I don't want to spend a lot of time on the minutia of doing stuff because I'm playing my main guy. I'm already assuming in my brain that my main guy is doing all of the stuff, right? So I'm the group leader. I'm I'm doing the loot stuff. I'm I, I'm designating targets meaning I'm the main assist and since I drive with my tank my my dude is the tank so for me I want I want I want my main tune to just automatically do that every time so let's uh let's load this bad boy right so we're gonna uh, plug in mq2 auto group load it's already loaded so it's gonna tell me it's already loaded I'm just gonna type auto group um, and it's gonna spit out a bunch of stuff and basically tell me what I need to do okay so we're gonna we have we have a bunch of options here Auto group handle merc on off toggle suspending summoning mercs uh, if you're in a group. Okay, some of this needs to be cleaned up. Um, auto group create delete start command set remove add remove add remove status. Bunch of stuff here, bunch of stuff. But uh, let's start easy, okay? I'm gonna target myself here. I'm gonna do auto group create. So it says this will create a new group. This player will be the leader. Boom successfully created group number five uh i'm gonna auto group uh space set and i'm gonna main uh main tank now i'm targeting myself so shadow not has been made main main tank uh i'm gonna do main assists and i'm going to do um master looter okay now i'm going to uh auto group add player and uh, it's automatically added that person you can you can type out by their name if you want to add them by name so you can do slash auto group add uh player um and then space the name um in this instance i just did that so now when we log into uh when we log into the game we should automatically invite them now that's not going to do the accepting that's why we want to pair this with mq2 auto accept now I have a cool thing here that I do uh, auto accept add. let me find the button I should have had this handy um, so this looks absolutely batshit crazy but I'll explain why it's awesome okay so uh, let's make that longer all right we're making this longer so we can read everything okay so I'm using B uh, EQ BCS so the commands I'm using are you know BC for uh, the box chat, I request box chat. But so, okay, this is what we're doing in this line. I'm saying uh, no parse, which means I want the recipient to uh, parse uh, the TLO information, me dot name. Okay, so I, and then I'm issuing a BCAA, meaning everybody connected to my EQBCS server. Then I want all of them to do a slash BCAA. And that's why there's two slashes because it's it's that's what they're executing. So they are executing slash BCAA <laughs> double slash auto accept add me dot name. Okay. So that sounds bananas uh, because there's a bunch of like BCAA double slash BCAA double slash accept add me dot name. 
But the intent of what this is doing is this is making everybody tell everybody else to issue a command which basically says auto accept me, my name. Um, now, I already have MQ2 auto accept loaded. If you don't, you'd want to type slash plugin space MQ2 auto accept space load and have that loaded. But I'm going to do this here. And it says MQ2 auto accept added Shadow Knight uh, O to the name list auto accept added shaman to the nameless so it adds these two players to that auto accept list and now i'm just going to do a bcaa uh double slash auto accept save now it's all saved okay now if you notice if i do a slash invite i'm going to manually invite the shaman um they should automatically accept my group invite and you can't see that here because i had that blocked um but if you see they uh are actually get the fuck out of my group you're not invited. Not invited anymore. I've rescinded the invitation. Uh, and now I'm going to re-invite them because I changed my mind. Please come back. I, I need some shaman stuff. Automatically accepted the invite. Now I don't have to worry about it. Now I do a couple of things. I have MQ2 auto accept always on. I have MQ2 auto group to automatically form my groups. Now there's some nuances with auto group, right? Uh, it says auto group. Uh, this is in uh, swapped over to browser. It says here, um, member one is always going to be leader of the group. He's going to invite the others when they are in the same zone. They will only be invited one uh, at one time. As people join, the leader will assign group roles based on what you have set in the any. If for some reason your leader isn't member group one, no group roles will be assigned. Um, so the important part here is uh, he's going to invite the others when they're in the same zone and they'll only be invited once. So why that's important is let's say one of your characters goes link dead um and comes back or you disband in another zone or they log in in another zone or whatever there's times it's not going to get invited and that's just because the the, the, the plugin doesn't always know when you want to get an invite so it's only going to do it once when you're in the same zone um so i also keep a hot key uh and that hot key will be like uh you know uh invite and then it'll be like slash invite uh, dude bro one, right? Whatever the whatever the character's name is. And I'll keep that hotkey um, for an invite. That way, if something happens, everybody goes linked dead, or something happens, we're all in separate groups, and I, and I need to get them invite. I can just hit that invite button, and then because of MQ2 auto accept, they're automatically gonna accept it. So auto group normally takes care of it as soon as I log in, because I usually log out in the same zone. Uh, but just covering all of my bases just so I can get back an actual quick. Now, um, if I if I check my roles here, um, my roles are not set because it wasn't auto group that invited me, right? It was me inviting the shaman and then the shaman accepting. Now, if it was auto group, um, if we had done that, uh, let me see if I can do this quickly. Um, I'll probably snip out this uh, snip out this little bit right here. Setting so-and-so to main assist uh setting master looter etc etc main tank so uh these are just dummy tunes uh kind of to show you that anyway so we show it working um and it mainly does that but if you notice uh there are times that it won't invite and so having that button uh just to invite all of your tunes is pretty important so um that's something that i do recommend doing and uh, that's something I do recommend doing and um, just, you know, making your life a little bit easier. Oops, uh, there we go. And what was it, target. Um, now the third one that I wanted to mention was MQ2 Yes. Okay. Well, actually, you know what? Hold on, let's back up a second. So let's talk about auto accept. Let me go to the browser here. So we're in, uh, you know, we're in, um, uh, Red Guides plugin section MQ2 auto accept and uh, you see the options here auto accept displays command syntax auto accept on off auto accept save load trade trade always on off group raid list add name translocate anchor add anchor delete anchor so you have a lot of options in here you can set it to automatically accept um, trades um, either just any trade or trade specifically from like, you know, uh, people you have set to people you trust, um, which is cut, which is what I do. I do it to people that I set, uh, that I trust. 
Um, but you can set it so you do raids and, and all sorts of stuff like that. You can set it so it auto accepts translocates. I don't run that. I don't, I don't ever want to be in a situation where, you know, an asshole friend of mine comes up to me and translocates my dude. My dude's like, oh, let's take the translocate. This sounds great. And, uh, you know, because I think it's funny. So I don't, I, t I have that turned off. I don't roll with uh, wizards, so I don't really need to translocate very much. Uh, but it's a great option. If you want to just automatically accept your uh, your transla uh, translocates, you can do that. Now, let's talk about the, the third one, MQ2 Yes. Okay? So this question comes up a lot with uh, with newer folks who just started using MacroQuest, just started using Red Guides, and they say something like, Okay, I'm at my guild portal guy. I've selected a place that I want to go. Now everybody has this pop-up box. How in the hell do I get everyone to take the, the pop-up box? Now, uh, MQ2 Yes is one of those that does that. There's several boxes that it'll it'll interface with, uh, with just a literal yes, no, uh, large dialog window, confirmation dialog box, trade window, give window, progression selection window, task select, raid window. Okay, so these will all accept slash yes or no. So the um, a, a lot of the a lot of the regular windows you would want to do something to are the large dialog window or the confirmation dialog box window. It's like, do you want to do you want to do this thing, and yes or no, uh, and there'll be a left button a yes and a right button no, um, and those are those are labeled in a way that we can do a BCAA. Uh, we can do a BCAA double slash yes and then all of my tunes with mq2 yes loaded are going to do a slash yes which is going to click that button and then they're going to take that portal um so that's something i have all the time i don't actually keep a hot key for this um just because swipe it uh, typing it out is not a big deal but that's definitely something you can keep a hot key for just a yes and a no hot key just like how i have a door hot key where i'm like you know everybody in my group slash door target and then do a slash click left door um you know, I, 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 I slash yes and a slash no, definitely something that is would be useful if you wanted to put that in a hotkey. But um, the first thing I do when I make a new group of tunes is I get these three plugins set up. That's the first thing I do. I want my auto group set up. I want my auto accept to be working. That way, if I don't catch a character with my uh, auto group, if I send an invite, they'll auto accept it. If I, I try to in initiate a trade, um, like do these tunes have, they don't even have a fucking silver. I can't give the, any of these tra anything tradable, no trade. I can't, he could be dying of thirst and I can't give him a friggin' milk, dude. Well, uh, the point was, okay, can I kill this? How long is this gonna take me to kill? It's probably not gonna drop anything, is it? Come on, you mother. Okay, the point is, let's pretend I pretend I traded like a copper to this dude, and I hit that trade button. Um, they're all gonna automatically hit trade because the trade's ready to go, and they're gonna say, "Hey, this is a trusted person who's trading me this stuff." Thumbs up. Um, so that's super handy. Because again, my my personal take, how I approach boxing, is I want my dudes to do what they're supposed to do, right? I want them to act as if they can read my mind and just do what they're supposed to. So the um, the, the, the weight on them making good decisions is on me, right? So if I initiate a trade with them, I want them to automatically accept because the responsibility is on me that I'm trading them something that I want them to take. Uh, so that's why I have that stuff set up. But um, ho hopefully this kind of gives just a just a quick and dirty like couple of couple of really useful plugins that are can sometimes get overlooked or 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 looked at as maybe uh, on a surface level looking like they might be a little too complicated. There's a lot of options in these between auto group and auto accept. There's a lot of configuration and, and setting up for specifics that you want, um, but it's really easy to get kind of the basics started so you have a good uh, foundation that then you can later build on. So um, anyway, so that's the video for now, and uh, I will talk to you guys later.